Okay, and we're back. And you can see that um, my email went out and automatically checked for email. And I have a reply back from my, uh, my friend myself here, Brad, although I called him Tom in my email. Uh, and I have the reply to uh, three questions. So I go ahead and, and tap on that. And you can see this top part is my email to him. Okay, and I could open that up if I wanted to by just uh, clicking on it. But then here is the reply. Do you see how this is going? It's like a thread. And uh, I'm not going to make a new email. I'm not going to hit compose. I don't want to create a new email back to him. Instead, I'm going to reply back to this question. So he says, Dear Brad, my favorite color is purple. Do you have a pet? And if yes, what is it? Sincerely, Tom. So I'm going to, to click on reply. And, uh, and now that we've introduced each other formally, I don't need to say, Dear Tom, anymore. I can just answer his question, but I always do sign it with my name. This is kind of normal email etiquette that I'm talking about here. I'll say, yes, I do have a pet, a dog named Willie. Do, um, where are you going for spring break? Look at that. It, it's, Google is getting so smart now, it knows what I'm going to ask. And I'm just going to sign it, Brad. Okay, so uh, I'm asking him a question back. Because remember, we're playing three questions. And hit send. Did you guys see how I did a reply there? Okay. And then um, let's go ahead and just wait a moment and wait for his reply and we'll do it one more time, okay? I'm going to get back to my inbox by just clicking right here. And here's my inbox and I'm just going to go over to my phone now and I'm going to reply to that. 